Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of BitLife. You guys are writing a lot of challenges in the comments. I saw one that got over 1.3 thousand likes. God I'm about to read it to you guys because it has 11 bullet points. God damn, 11 bullet points? So here's how it goes. One, make sure to study hard in school. Two, always pick the most peaceful option or the option that makes people see you as a good person. Three, get into university for math or science. Four, you can't date until you're 18. Five, you can only be married once and have two children. Six, your wedding must be big and just a great one overall. Seven, also you have to be faithful and get a career that earns 80,000 plus. Eight, no crime or gambling or drinking or use of drugs. Nine, you can become depressed, but you need to get rid of it ASAP. To do this, you can meditate, go to the gym, travel, go to the horse races. Don't gamble on them though. 10. If you have any diseases, you need to get rid of them ASAP. 11. You need to go to the gym and meditate every year you age up. Okay, so I'm gonna start this perfect person challenge right now. Also, I made some custom people in the game that you guys might recognize, so we are gonna try this challenge out right now. If you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! Okay, so here we go. My name is that dude. I was born a male in Hamburg, Germany. My conception occurred during a twisted game of Twister. What, you got lost inside of her or something? I don't even want to know, but my dad is age 30 and my mom is 37 and i have an older brother named simon okay i don't have a brother in real life so this is the closest that i'm gonna get so we have to meditate and we have to go to the gym every year that we age up but i'm a baby i can't do anything yet i can't get those gains while i'm still zero years old so let's age up one time and i'm gonna keep checking if i can keep going to the gym i think i can go like once i'm a teenager at least i'm super smart by the way 87 percent smart so that means i'm gonna at least get into a good school so if i just keep studying and then go to the library and stuff like that i can definitely major in math or science and get a degree in that you and your big brother simon are squabbling about why he went into your room what will you do? Assault him, insult him, complain to mother, or apologize to him. So we have to choose an option that makes people see us as a good person. So we are going to apologize to him. And I quarreled with my brother, Simon, about why he went into my room. I apologize to him for squabbling because I'm a little bitch, but we gotta be a bitch and bend over backwards if we wanna be a good person. So let me study one more time for the homie DJ Screw, and let's age up. You are suffering from the common cold. Okay, anytime I get sick, I need to solve that right away. So let's go to Le Docteur. Medical doctor, Dr. Mila LeBron. She's gonna treat my cold and flow. BAM! You are no longer suffering from the common cold. Okay, so I can go to the gym because I'm 16 years old now, but I don't have enough money. I only have $8. What? I asked my dad, Liam, dude, for money. He only gave me eight bucks. Okay, so out of all of these, we just gotta go with biology because biology is like the science of life. So we are going to apply to this university. How will you pay for your university program? Free public university? Damn, that's what they do in Germany? They do it like that? Okay, so we gotta study hard. And then I'm not going to forget to meditate. I am going to skip like some ages, guys. But I am going to meditate and go to the gym every single year. So just believe me, okay? Oh, and also I just forgot that I'm 18 so I can be in a relationship. You've met a girl named Sophia Schmidt. She's 14! Oh, God. Nah, man. We ain't about that life. Lena Kohler, she's age 12? Yo, what is up with these young ass elementary school kids? Why the fuck is everybody so young? 16? That was Lauren. That was Lauren's side. Nini. A girl you met while waiting at the bus stop has asked you on a date. She's age 18, but she's unemployed. It says that she's ugly as shit. Nini's ugly as hell. <laughs> no. She's hella smart, though, and she got money, and she's not crazy. Okay, so her look should be way up there because Nini's beautiful. The smarts, the money, and the craziness, all in the right spots. Let's start dating Nini. And your girlfriend Nini is pregnant with your baby. What will you do? Oh, my God. What? I'm only 19 and I got her pregnant already? My pullout game is not strong. Okay, wait. Does it say that I have to be married and then have a kid? It says you can only be married once and have two children. It doesn't say that I have to be married first. So we are going to keep that baby. Your girlfriend Nini just had a baby son. What will you name him? Liam, dude? No, that's my dad's name and I hate my dad. I think his name should be something that's very near and dear to my heart. Like something that I love so much more than anything in this world. You're the proud father of a baby boy named Money and Bitches Dude. Dad's Your father I. gave you 78 bucks? Yeah, dad. Because I'm a new dad. I got to like spend my money on diapers and milk and all that shit. I can't keep breastfeeding him from my own titties, you know? I gotta go to the store and buy some milk. So we're gonna go to the gym now, and we are gonna get our pump on. You worked out at the gym, and my workout was so good. It was the best! 
Like, you can't get any better than that. Okay, I gotta make some money, guys, but I only have one more year of university, so I think I'm gonna get a good job. So let's go to the library. Let's age that up. I mean, rank that up. Why did I say age that up? I'm thinking about my kid too much. And you graduated from university with an undergraduate degree in biology. Yes, yes hooray for me. Your girlfriend, Nini, asked you to marry her. You have been together for four years. What will you do? She's still butt-ass <laughs> ugly? Come on, man. You think after four years, you know, her looks would be a little bit better, but shit. Her smarts are good, her money's good, and her craziness is red. Does that mean good or not? Well, we're gonna accept her proposal. You are now engaged to your girlfriend, Nini, okay? And it's time to immunize your son, money, and bitches. What will you do? Of course we're gonna immunize him. And then occupation. I gotta find something good, guys. I guess we could be a microbiologist, right? Apply. Welcome to the Condor Insurance. Let's go! My salary is 41000 I love that. Your fiance Nini is pregnant with your baby. What will you do? Man, I'm a straight shooter. I'm two for two with the kids. All we're going to do right now is work harder at our job. I began working harder in my job as microbiologist. Man, that just has a good ring to it. Let's age up one time. And your fiance Nini just had a baby daughter. What will you name her? Okay, so since I named the son after what was the most near and dear to my heart, I think the most reasonable thing to do would be to name the daughter after the thing that's closest to Nini's heart. So we are now the proud father of a baby girl named Kingdom Hearts Dude. You and your big brother Simon got into a heated argument when discussing what is the right way to hang a toilet paper roll. What will you do? Man, this guy's a little bitch, but I gotta be nice to him. Uh -huh. All right, I'm gonna apologize to him. Simon's been a little bitch since I've been born. I'm not even gonna lie, man. That's no cap right there. Your fiance Nini is demanding you get married. Goddamn. You have been engaged for four years. What will you do? Call off the engagement, break up with her, plan the wedding. Well, we have $7,000 in the bank. I guess that's enough, right? So for venue, I guess the best place to go would be like a country club, right? And then a honeymoon. What's the best honeymoon here? Caracas, Venezuela, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, Kobe, Japan, Milwaukee, United States. Okay, it's definitely not in Milwaukee or Saudi Arabia. We got to go Kobe. Like, we got to be clutch with the shits. So let's select this plan. And it's $21,000? God damn. You don't have enough money for the wedding you have arranged. And now we got it again. Your fiance Nini is demanding you get married. You have been engaged for five years. What will you do? I'm trying to plan the most perfect wedding, but I don't have enough money. What do you want me to do? Your fiance Nini is demanding you get married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know already, Nini. We know. So this time we have winery, barn, restaurant, country club, or courthouse. It's either winery or country club. Those are the two most expensive places to get married at. France would be good serbia new zealand peru france definitely people love france and you're thinking about whether you should make your fiance nini sign a prenuptial agreement before marrying her what will you do our net worth is sixteen thousand. her net worth is seventy-eight thousand. hell no we don't need a prenup girl come on now you married nini cub scouts at a winery you went to toulouse france for your honeymoon there was that a good wedding, guys? Let me know down low in the comments below. I think it was, especially for the money that we're making. Now I just gotta work my way into getting a house. And then we should be living the perfect life. I just gotta make $80,000, and I gotta remain faithful, and I can't use drugs or gamble. Can I do some fun things with my family? Let's see here. Let's go on a vacation. Pick a destination. Okay, let's go to Canada. And come on now, we're not gonna fly anything but economy. Let's be real here. Your wife, Nini, wants to go with you. Your children, Money and Bitches and Kingdom Hearts, want to go too. What will you do? Of course I wanna bring them. Bring everyone. The whole family's coming. You took your wife, Nini, and your children, Money and Bitches and Kingdom Hearts, on an economy class vacation to Canada. No! <gasps> That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. It says that you can only be married once and have two children. You can't be doing this to me, game. Bit life gods, why are you making me make this choice? Oh, come on, man. No, no. Pregnant with our third kid. Oh, you're cruel. This game is a sick joke. This game is a sick, sick joke. Okay, you can only have two children. I want to beat this challenge. I want to beat this challenge more than I want the third kid in this game. So I'm going to close my eyes and we're going to click this. And you made your wife need me get in the... Oh, God, I don't even want to say it, man. It's just not ready for that. I'm not ready for that. Okay, we're just going to forget that even happened, guys. We're going to keep working harder at our job. And we're also going to work on our mind and body. We're going to meditate because of what we just did. Our happiness is down to 96%. So that only made us 4% unhappy. I think my guy is kind of messed up in the head. 
because that really didn't affect him. So now I think it's time for us to buy a house because I have $23,000 in the bank and I gotta find like a four bedroom. So classic ranch style, that's $195,000. Let's apply for a mortgage. You are now the owner of the classic style ranch. Let's go. That was really easy. We only have $3,900, but we bought a four bedroom nice ass house for under $200,000. That's really good. That is amazing, actually. It's so amazing that I'm gonna ask for a promotion and I got rejected. I stay getting rejected from this damn job. Okay, so I clicked on Nini again and why does her looks keep going down? I can barely see any red in there. Why does it look like she has no looks? Does she not have a face? I have been given a raise of 3%. My salary is now at 79,000. Nice. So I just gotta make less than a thousand more and then I complete the career that earns 80,000 objectives. So let's meditate because I have to meditate every year I age up. And I can't go to the gym, guys, because I'm so far down on my own ass in debt that I can't even pay for anything. You have been diagnosed with hives. Okay, so we got to deal with that ASAP. So let's go to the lead doctor. And I don't think that we're going to be able to do anything because I don't have money. You know what? The only way I can make more money is if I sell my house. Yeah, see, I got to sell the house. I can either throw the party or I can sell the house. I think I'm going to throw a party first. 25 guests came to the party at your classic ranch style. One of your guests overdosed on Special K. What will you do? How do you overdose on Special K? You must be some sort of special to overdose on Special K. Okay, so now that we threw a party one time for the one time, let's sell our house. So it said that I have to treat it ASAP, so I had to do anything possible to get some money. So we're going back to the doctor. And then let's go back to me, LeBron, and treat my hives. You are no longer suffering from hives. You guys already know what I do. Let's get this alluring condo. I always wanted to have a condo, so let's uh, apply for mortgage. And you are now the owner of the alluring condo. Okay, so we have a house again, and we still have a lot of money, so that's good. Let's keep working harder because we got to make 80000 And it says, I have been given a raise of 4.4%. My salary is now at 82000 Let's go! Now all we really got to do is just keep living our life and be faithful and don't gamble, drink, or use drugs. And we beat this challenge easy. I'm so sick of meditating and working out every single year. I'm surprised I haven't, like, gotten an injury or something. While at a hockey game, you encounter a spider monkey. What will you do? Retreat slowly, pet it, try to rescue it, run for my life. I guess if we're gonna be a good person, we gotta try to rescue it, right? Your attempt to rescue the spider monkey was unsuccessful. Well, I don't give a damn. Penis enlargement surgery? Dr. Leon can perform penis enlargement surgery for you? Okay, I guess we're gonna get the surgery. Ow. Oh my god, your penis enlargement surgery was botched? Holy crap! That did a lot of damage! Why did I even do that? You're suffering from athlete's foot. No! Okay, we gotta go to the doctor. I wanna live to 100 years old. That's gonna make me super happy. You are no longer suffering from athlete's foot. Okay, so we just got to keep doing the same things that we're doing. Just go to the gym. Just go meditate. Just go on vacation. Spend time with your wife. That is the spice of life. While shopping at the sex toy store, a stranger runs up to you with a huge grin, hand out, and he knows your name. What will you do? Ask if he's confused. Turn and leave awkwardly. Pretend that I recognize him. Let's pretend that we recognize that guy. And what the hell are we doing at a sex toy store when we're 91 years old? There's got to be dust coming out of that dick by now. And your son, Money and Bitches, wants to take you to the water park. Will you go with him? Of course I will. I love my son. You went to the water park with your son and our enjoyment is good his enjoyment was a little bit less i don't know why but we're 99 years old so we're gonna do this one more time we're gonna meditate and then we are gonna go to the gym i feel like that's the key meditating and working out so we did that and now let's age up one more time your wife nini wants a divorce she says it's because you're always late what will you do what the hell insult her one last time wish her well assault her or beg her to stay we're a hundred years old why are you trying to divorce me we're old as shit we're borderline in the grave already. I'm gonna beg you to stay. I'm old as fuck, but I'm gonna be like, please stay with me. You beg Nini to stay with you. She insisted on getting a divorce. No, I owe 310,000? What the fuck? No! Why did you leave me? We were married for 70 years. I was giving you this old dick. Your son, Money and Bitches, passed away at the age of 85. He died while sleeping peacefully. Your nephew, Tim, passed away at the age of 71. He died from hepatitis B. Why the hell is everybody dying on me? Why am I still alive? You died at the age of 110. You died while sleeping peacefully. Our net worth was 186,000. Rest in peace. That was a crazy life. That was probably my best life so far. So we had one lover. We had two children. We graduated with a degree in microbiology. And we were a microbiologist making a shitload of money. That dude passed away peacefully at the age of 110. His services were attended by four of his six grandchildren. His daughter, Kingdom Hearts, couldn't be bothered to attend his funeral. Wait, what? Why? 
I've been nothing but good to you. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for the perfect person challenge in BitLife. If you guys have any more challenges that you want to write in the comments below, make sure you guys get creative with it, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.